Hi everyone and welcome to lesson number eight. My name is Michael Geddes. If you would please take the time to like this video and or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate that. Also, if you're having any trouble with any of the previous lessons, please feel free to contact me at the information below. We can set up a Skype lesson and I can help you through any of the problems that you're having. This week, I'm gonna show you how to read chord diagrams. Now, by the end of these 12 complimentary lessons, you're going to know how to play 15 of the must-know chords that every beginning guitar player has to learn how to play. In the next clip, there's a picture of those 15 chords. I'd like you to stop the video, take a screenshot of those chords, and put them somewhere very accessible where you can be bringing them forward all the time and studying them because those are the chords that you're going to need to learn how to play. In this lesson, we're going to work with five of those chords. And once I teach you how to read the, the diagrams correctly on those five chords, you'll be able to go back to those 15 chords, take the screenshot, and start to read through all of those chords, but you'll know how to do it correctly. Also, four of those chords I'm going to show you today are chords that you're going to be performing and playing in the 12-bar blues, which I think you're going to really appreciate. Here's a copy of those 15 chords that every guitar player needs to learn how to play. So stop the video, take a screenshot, and keep them accessible so you can practice them as needed. So this is the E minor chord. You've already had the E minor chord once in lesson number six because you had to learn E minor to play the E minor chord exercise, but let's go through it one more time. So with the E minor chord, you're going to strum six strings, all six strings with the pick. You're going to put your second finger, one, two, second finger on the fifth string, one, two, three, four, five, second fret. And then you're going to put your third finger, one, two, third finger, on the fourth string, one, two, three, four, second fret. Here's the first fret, and here's the second fret. And you're going to have to, uh, in order, and they're right next to each other, but so you'll have to move that second finger to the left a little bit to make room for the third finger. But that's the E minor chord, and you're going to strum all six strings. <laughs> Here's the diagram of the same chord I just played on my guitar, the E minor chord. The first string is left open, first string is open, third string is open, and the sixth string is open. Don't forget, open means no fingers down, but you still play those strings. You're going to put your third finger on the second fret, fourth string, one, two, three, fourth string, second fret, and your second finger on the fifth string, second fret. Go ahead and stop the video and strum that chord a few times. Now the E major chord is going to be a little bit easier because you're going to simply form an E minor chord from the last clip. So get that E minor chord, second finger, fifth string, second fret, third finger, fourth string, second fret. But now you're going to add your first finger to the third string, first fret, third string, one, two, three, one, two, three, first fret. And you're gonna strum all six strings. Pinch it good, it's a real pretty chord. So here is the diagram of the e, e major chord, the chord I just showed you on my guitar. The first string, second string, and the sixth string are open. Um, you'll add your first finger on the third string, first fret, second finger on the fifth string, second fret, and the third finger on the fourth string, second fret. Go ahead and stop the video, press those fingers good, and try strumming a few times. So here is E7. E7 is a six string strum. You're going to put your first finger on the third string, one, two, three, first fret, and your middle finger, or your second finger, on the fifth string, one, two, three, four, five, second fret. First string remains open, second string remains open, and the sixth string remains open. Hook your fingers really nice and get on those tippy tops and strum all six strings. This is the E7 chord diagram. The first string remains open, second, fourth, and sixth strings remain open. The first finger will go on the third string, first fret, 
and the second finger will go on the fifth string second fret. Strum all six strings, stop the video, and try playing the chord a few times. Now I'll show you the A7 chord. So the A7 chord is a five string strum. You'll just strum the top five strings, one, two, three, four, five, and try not to play the sixth string. If you hit the sixth string in your strum, don't worry about it right now. That will disappear in time as you become a better player. So in order to play A7, you're gonna put your first finger, one, first finger on the one, two, three, fourth string, second fret, and your second finger or your middle finger on the one, two, on the, on the second string, one, two, on the second fret, like this. And you're going to strum five strings. Here's the chord diagram for the A7 chord. This is a five string chord. When you see that X, it means don't strum that string, and that's the sixth string or the biggest string. Your first string is open, third string is open, and the fifth string is open. You'll put your first finger on the fourth string second fret, and your second finger on the second string second fret. Stop the video and practice that chord. The last chord I'm gonna show you is B7. B7 is a five string strum. Again, you'll leave off the sixth string. It's a little more complicated than the others, but in order to play the 12 bar blues, you have to learn this chord. So you'll put your first finger on the fourth string, first fret, your second finger on the fifth string, second fret, and your third finger on the third string, second fret, and your pinky on the first string, second fret. So you've got fingers on the fourth string, fifth string, third string, and first string. The second string is left open, which means no fingers down. And it's a five string strum. Here is, this is a diagram of the B7 chord. Second string is open. Try not to hit the sixth string. If you do, don't worry about it right now. You'll stop doing that as time goes on and you become more of an experienced player. You're going to place your first finger on the fourth string, first fret, second finger on the fifth string, second fret, third finger on the third string, second fret, and your fourth finger on the first string, second fret as well. Stop the video, practice that chord a few times. So before we conclude lesson number eight, there's a few things I wanted to make sure you're clear on. One of them is when you're looking at a chord diagram and you see the chord E without the M next to it, it would be E major. When you see the chord with the M next to it, it would be E minor. So when you, if you saw A, the chord A, without the M, it would be A major, or A with the M would be A minor. So there's a, a nice little exercise I wanna show you to practice the five chords that we went through in this lesson. And this is what I'd like you to do. Um, form a chord, let's say you're forming an E chord. Take your fingers on, put them on, pinch them good, take them off. Put them on, take them off. Bring your fingers way out here, make them work to come in and find those notes again. Um, put them on, take them off. Four or five times on each of the chords that I've showed you, B7, put your fingers on, take them off four or five times and so on. So as time goes on, you're gonna have to work on getting these chords faster. When you change them from chord to chord, you're gonna have to work on getting them changed faster with no pauses in between. And I'll give you lots of things to help you with that as well. In the next lesson, lesson number nine, I'm gonna show you four new chords, the G major chord, C major chord, a minor and D7. And also I'm going to finish the spider walk exercise that we began just with the left hand in lesson number seven. We'll add the right hand in lesson number nine as well. Thanks so much for being here today. My name is Michael Geddes and I'll see you at lesson number nine.